All right, so first step of creating a pivot table is we need to create one. So open in front of you, I've got the example file, Excel 102 exercises, and I'm on the sales data worksheet. Got a simple little list here. A few columns and notes, kind of commit these to memory, you got year, month, type, salesperson, and so on, and a few rows of records, about just over 400 records worth of detailed line items about sales. The year took place, the month, the type, the salesperson, region, and so on. So now I want to summarize this. Stop and think about that for just a moment. What would you like to summarize about this list? Do I want to get total sales by month, by year? Do I want to get total sales by type and who sold it, who is a salesperson? Do I want to break out total sales by region? Or maybe I don't even want total sales. Maybe I want to get total units for different types, different products that we've sold. Whatever it is, you're going to create a pivot table to create the summarized set of data. Take a look. This is how you create a pivot table. So I'm first going to click into my list. Doesn't matter where, just as long as you're in the list. That's step one. Step two, I'm going to go up to the insert tab. On the insert tab, you have a section called tables. My very first option there is pivot table. I'll give that a click. Wants to know a little bit of information. Wants to know where my data is at. Now, because I already clicked into my list, it should already have it there. A4 to H448. If it's wrong, you can go out there and select it yourself. Okay? But remember, just click into your list, then go to insert pivot table, and it should grab it for you. Next thing it wants to know is, well, where do you want to build the pivot table? For our exercise here, I'm going to put it into a new worksheet. So it's going to create a new tab down below for me. I could put it into an existing one, but once again, for my exercise, we'll do a new one. I'm going to hit OK. And I've now created a new tab. There it is, sheet one. I'm going to give it a double click just to rename it. I'll call it pivot table. There we go. And the data that this is based off of is right next door, sales data. There's my old list. Back to pivot table. So I've now created the beginnings of my pivot table. And I do want to point out that if I'm clicked into the placeholder over here on the left, that I get three things. I get a new tab with an analyze and design tab, some options for me to work with my pivot table, and I get my pivot table fields where I'll start creating my pivot table. If I click out someplace else inside the Excel document, then those tabs go away and the panel on the right go away. But if I click back into it, I'll get those features back again. Something small, but at some point you might accidentally do that and be like, ah, where did it go? Well, no big deal. Just click back into the pivot table area and you'll get that stuff back. All right. So now I'm going to start building the actual pivot table. So now over here on the right hand side of my screen, I've got a list of my fields. Remember the year, month, type, salesperson, region, sales, and so on? These are the same headers that come from my list. So inside of there, I'm going to start dragging these. It's a simple click and drag process to create a pivot table. I'm just going to drag them into one of four areas down below to start building this little summarized spreadsheet based on that list of 400 plus records. So I want to do, hmm, I'm going to grab salesperson, left click, and drag it down to the row section. As soon as I let go, right away, Excel is starting to build my pivot table. And it's already summarized. It's got my one, two, three, four, five unique salespeople. Well, now, what do I want to know about those salespeople? Hmm. Well, maybe I want to know their total sales. So I'm going to go grab sales, drag that down to the value section. And through just a couple of click and drags, I now have a total sales report by salesperson. Oh, you know what? Hmm, salesperson, I don't want salesperson. I'm gonna grab that one and drag it back up. You know what, oh, there's a grand total of sales, that's nice. But you know what, I wanna know type. How much do we sell of each type of product? So I'll grab type and drag that down to rows. And now I've got a total sales report for different types. It's that simple, and this is one of the reasons why I love pivot tables so much, because they're simple to create. Click and drag. It does the work for you. 
In my opinion, pivot tables themselves aren't very difficult. Not at all. Just click and drag. The most difficult part about pivot tables is deciding what it is that you want to report off of. How do you want to lay it out? But once you know that, just click and drag. Create the pivot table. Let's try a little more here. So now I've got type total sales for type. I want to break this up by month. So I'm going to go grab month and I'll drag that down to the column section. And now I've got products broken up by month and total sales. Very quick. I mean, through just a couple of clicks and drags, I've got this very dynamic report called the pivot table. So try this out. Jump into the exercise file, go over to the sales data worksheets, the last one in the workbook, click into that list, go to your insert tab, top of your screen, go to pivot table, put it in a new sheet. Now, click and drag, just move your fields into one of the three sections that we've talked about so far to start building the summarized report based off of the sales data worksheet. Try it out.